Hi guys, welcome to Make2 and a Minecraft Pocket Edition how-to video. Today I want to show you some of my tips for building different types of roads in Minecraft. These are our ideas and methods I've come up with from developing my Let's Build series Maketopia. So I want to show you three different roads. You can make roads much bigger than this that will probably look more lifelike, but for me it's always with roads and with buildings too, getting that balance right between realism and time it takes. So it's based on a sort of dual carriageway. So you have sidewalk, then you have traffic going one way, then a central sidewalk, then traffic going the other way, and then another sidewalk. So the first sidewalk is just two stone slabs across. The middle section is seven blocks wide and they are all recessed one block down into the earth. The next is five and you don't that just leave a gap of five and that's for the central reservation for the sidewalk. Then another gap of seven, again one down for the road. And then finally the sidewalk of two wide at the far end. So let's just quickly show you how it's done. So we've got these two sidewalks all the way here. Now I use stone slabs because I think they look the most like normal paving. In the middle for the main road I have cyan clay. Now it's cyan and that should be blue but in clay it actually looks much more like grey. So I think that looks pretty good. I've tried wool but wool in grey just looks the texture in pocket edition is just too busy for me. Now you can see I've got the central marking here and what I do is every four, I then do a two of this. So it'll be one, two for the line marking, then one, two, three, four, space, then two for the line marking, then one, two, three, four, space, and then one, two for the line marking. Oops. And just do that again and again and again. What this does mean is you can't do things like gutters so easily. You can't have any gray any time you go up or down you have to go up or down by one block in total you can't do half blocks or stairs which is a bit of a shame but that's with just the default texture pack now i said we have the central five wide pavement again sort of two wide i think is good enough and then you can just fill this all in again you don't have to dig down for this because the stone slabs are only half height so that's an added plus if you wanted to have everything even which is not super realistic you'd have to dig up everything and here again we have another road. Now why I picked seven wide is because so sort of when you're building cars in Minecraft the sort of smallest width of car is three blocks. So I thought you have three blocks wide, you then have one block for the middle which cars aren't supposed to be on, and then you have the second lane here. So this is one lane going one way, a central reservation, and another lane going the other way. And at the end you have more stone slabs. And there we have our road. Imagine that stretching on way into the distance. And that's uh, that's the major highway in the middle. You could also put maybe trash cans or street lights, those kinds of things. So here's a smaller road. And rather than going having two lanes of traffic, each seven blocks wide, this only has one lane of traffic and it's only five blocks wide. So it still has line markings in the middle and you probably can't make a two wide car. If you can, <laughs> let me know in the comments. So again, it's just two for the sidewalk, then cyan clay, then two for the sidewalk. Now one trick, why I've used wool, white wool here, the good thing about wool is there's also carpet. And if you put glowstone underneath and then carpet on top, you really can't tell where the carpet is and where the full wool block is. So if you want to light your roads without having the need for having any street lighting over above, then this is a really good way of doing that. That's why I generally put white wool. One, it breaks up the texture and two, it gives you that flexibility. If there's any particular bit that's dark at night and you just want to give it extra, extra light. Now, finally, I'm going for a country road and this is the most basic, but still with lane marking. So still not completely silly but maybe the lane markings are a bit much. So here I've gone for black wool, sort of freshly tarmacked and yellow lane markings. And this is mainly to indicate the center of the road that you probably shouldn't have them and maybe you could get rid of them. Probably look better without, uh, or maybe it would need to be five wide again. But this, rather than having a two wide sidewalk, here it's one wide 
and it's just dirt path that's been dug out of grass blocks using a shovel. So you just get a slightly different effect. And this is more for, you know, country lanes. And the only final tip I'd say for all of these roads is, you know, they don't look very interesting super straight. So work on curving your roads round as best you can. It's easier, certainly with smaller roads, because you can just make them zigzag pretty easily or kind of gradually make them move direction or change direction without too much hassle with really big roads. You've got to think about, you know, to get a 90 degree curve of this road, the outer section on the right would have to turn a huge amount for a tiny amount that the, the bit over here would have to move, which would just be one block. So get those big curves, it's a lot harder. But I hope you found this how-to useful. If you have, please leave a like. If you've got any great road suggestions of your own, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching.